also on this uh, first convocation ceremony of Development Management Institute. I think uh, part of our vision has started becoming fructifying because the whole idea of the DMI is not to start another management institute which will just give them a diploma and then send them away. I think the whole idea is to build a cadre of development management professionals with not only the expertise in skills and competencies but also in terms of their value orientation and commitment to the mission of the institute which is participatory governance management of resources, enterprises and institutions. सुने क्यों ना आशे तबे हैकला चलो रे जो दितोर डाक सुने क्यों ना आशे तबे हैकला चलो रे तबे हैकला चलो हैकला चलो हैकला चलो हैकला चलो रे तबे हैकला चलो हैकला चलो हैकला चलो हैकला चलो रे the day that DMI has chosen for its first convocation is momentous in more than one way. This day marks the centenary of the statement of Mahatma Gandhi before the magistrate in Motihari that I have disregarded the order served upon me not for want of respect for lawful authority but in obedience to the higher law of our being, the voice of conscience. This statement as we all know today laid the foundation for several events to follow and was the forerunner for the Satyagraha movement across the country. It is but fitting that DMI, which is vision driven and, it, and holds its values above everything else, has chosen this day for its first convocation and has, in the process, attempted to demonstrate its commitment to the ideals that Gandhi stood for. They are assuming the responsibility to lead their life further in a meaningful way with the in line with the mission of the institute so this transfer of this responsibility is through displacing the sangavastram by the chairman of the institute he embodies in his own behavior so he is transmitting this Whatever be the situation in life, whatever be the circumstances at the moment, what you do entirely depends on you. It's your and only your choice. And let me tell you, the right path will not be easy. But that is the best path. I'm sure all of you will come out with flying colors in your life and will really establish TMI institution all of it. graduates are going to follow after the graduation, after the order of the diplomas, is not going to be an easy one. It is not going to be a bit of roses, but it is not going to be full of thorns either. It will be a mixed bit, so to say. But as we were playing the theme song, I think Ekla Chalore, that means many a time we may have to walk alone. And the reality of life is that we ascend, we go up the ladder in organizations, loneliness becomes 
more and more intense and we have to be mentally prepared for that. Gandhi Ji has done a Champaran in Satyagraha. He has और आज तो 70 साल हो गए आजादी के इस इस अगस्त में और इतना हमारे देश में उन्नति तो हुई है और आप जैसे जो होनहार और यू नो प्रोफेशनल क्वालिफिकेशंस वाले जो यंगस्टर्स हैं द होल वर्ल्ड इज एट योर फीट लेकिन मेरा आपसे आग्रह यह है कि स्वराज और आजादी दो अलग चीजें हैं ये मतलब आजादी मिल जाने पर ये जरूरी नहीं है कि आपको स्वराज भी मिल गया अब इसका फिर आप पूछेंगे कि स्वराज को मैं किस तरह से देख रही हूँ? What do I mean by स्वराज? कि जो हर आखरी व्यक्ति है समाज में, उसको अपनी शक्ति में, अपने कौशल में, अपने हौसले में, कैसे उसको ज़्यादा भरोसा हो, वो अपने आप को खुद में कैसे uh, not only uh, self uh, self empowered but अपने स्वाभिमान से वो कैसे आगे दुनिया में और अपनी अंदरूनी खोज में कैसे बढ़ सके अब आप कह सकते हैं कि ये तो बहुत बड़ी बात है भाई अब इससे हम क्या करें हमको तो जीवन जीना है आगे जाके अपना करियर बनाना है प्रोफेशनल हमारी क्वालिफिकेशन अब हाई हमारे हाथ में आई है अभी दो सेकंड पहले आपके हाथ में आई है तो हमने तो उसके बल पे आगे जाके लाइफ जीनी है प्रोग्रेस करनी है तो I agree with you कि ये जो मैंने अभी कहा वो बहुत abstract है तो इसको मैं तीन प्रश्नों के रूप में आपके साथ थोड़ा इसे conversation करना चाहती हूँ पहला तो ये है कि are your dreams your aspirations really your own or are you flying on autopilot जो भी आपके सपने हैं वो वास्तव में आपके अपने बनाए हुए हैं कि जो भी आपके इर्द-गिर्द समाज में हवा चल रही है आप के सपने क्या किसी तिनके की तरह हैं जो उस हवा में इधर से उधर हो रहे हैं या सच में आपके अंदर से आपकी अंतर आत्मा से निकलते हुए वो उनकी एक भूमिका है उन सपनों की उनका अस्तित्व है दूसरा सवाल ये है कि जिसको अपॉर्चुनिटी कहते हैं आज uh, मतलब जो जो समाज में आपको लगता है कि आपके सामने रास्ते होने चाहिए कामयाबी हासिल करने के वो रास्ते आप अभी क्या जो खेल चल रहा है इकोनॉमी में हो या समाज में हो या राजनीति में हो या कल्चर के क्षेत्र में हो ये अभी का जो खेल है आप उसी के बीच में अपने रास्ते ढूंढने जा रहे हैं कि आपको लगता है कि आपको नए रास्ते नए संभावनाएं उजागर करने की आपको आ, क्या कहते हैं गट्स रखनी चाहिए हिम्मत रखनी चाहिए और तीसरा और आखिरी सवाल ये है कि do you feel strong enough to speak truth to power so in 2017 as in any other time swaraj is the self confidence and the self empowerment that enables us to explore answers to these questions क्योंकि इन सवालों के कोई फिक्स्ड आंसर नहीं है कोई पहले से बनाए हुए आंसर नहीं है खुद आप ही को ढूंढने हैं और हर इंसान के इन ये जो क्वेश्चंस हैं एवरी पर्सन सर्च फॉर आंसर्स हैज बोथ एन और सैंक्टिटी एंड एन ऑटोनॉमी कोई आपको इनका जवाब ना तो दे सकता है ना किसी को देना चाहिए कि हां ऐसा मैं तुम्हें बताता हूं इन तीनों सवालों की ये जवाब है और तुम जाके करो that is not what you are here for. That is not why, as, as your gurus have said, that is not what DMI is for. You have been already launched on the path of perpetual self-learning. So as I join your teachers, your parents and peers in wishing you every happiness and a fulfilling life, I hope that you can visualize Swaraj not as a destination, as a point of arrival, but rather as a journey, both of the inner spirit and of external social political engagement. Then the possibilities are truly endless. May ever, may every glimmer of hope, every experiment and endeavor to live by that voice of conscience be a source of ever renewing lifelong energy for you.
some past two years you are spending with a family and you are spending with a group of people here so you will be actually getting habituated to them so leaving them behind and starting a new journey itself is a very uh, tough job for me they feel that they are a part of the dmi which makes them feel that no it's a family so the notion of this uh, family is uh, will automatically come into the picture if you develop that uh, notion of you are a part and parcel of a larger entity a larger whole so when they started seeing dmi not only as the faculty here but also the society and the organizations with whom we work i think more importantly the people to whose lives we want to make a difference i think they started feeling that they are a part of a much larger mission rather than just studying here for a diploma i think that is what i hope that they will carry this spirit with them and then continue to be feeling part of this larger exercise and then really feel proud that they are part and parcel of this not over is just the beginning because right now we were contributing from the other side of it like the we are the we were the participant but right now what i want and what the institution want from us is from go behind the no, other side of the desk so we are going to be uh, contributed in, in as many ways that institution wants from us there are juniors who are going to come up if we can contribute to that we are very fortunate in another way if we can share and uh, the platform together we can achieve a lot because this development world needs some good platform to be you know publish your work and see the world that what you can do now i have confidence wherever she go she'll come success because uh, the vigorous training she had uh, faced uh, during this two years in all the aspects uh, in classroom learning in in outside in internships and uh, through she met various uh, ngos all and uh, various professors and uh, different different uh, faculty members from within dmi and from outside dmi and she has learned many things after joining in dmi her maturity levels uh, really it had uh, Mm, grown up now she is not a child she is a woman <laughs> what was started 2 years ago taking a step each day towards my goal time has come that i put all my dreams my desires into action as i stand at the threshold of what is called as real life i pledge i will use my knowledge and skills to the best of my ability for the well being of my communities i pledge i'll be a flag bearer of my institute and will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation <laughs>